Okay, so we're gonna have a look at how we create patterns in Photoshop using duplication or repeated duplication. So the first thing we're gonna do is duplicate Stay Puff Marshmallow Man here, okay? And basically we're gonna loop him round in a circle using some shortcut keys and some transformation. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to Edit, Free Transform or Command and T, okay? And then we wanna move this central point for Stay Puff down right into the middle in Photoshop here. Now my image is gonna rotate around this point here. So we're aiming to rotate him all the way around. We'll just come to the edge here until we see this hooked arrow and then we'll rotate him a little bit, probably around five to 10 degrees. Hit enter and that will apply that transformation. Okay, so basically now we can repeat that transformation by doing shift, command and T. Okay, and it will keep moving stay puff around in that circle. But we wanna duplicate him at the same time. So we're gonna hold down shift, alt, command and then tap T. And you can see now when I tap T, it's gonna keep rotating Stay Puffed round in a circle. Okay, so we can keep going. We can keep going until we get back round to the beginning. And now we have a circle of Stay Puffed the Marshmallow Man. So we have a whole bunch of layers here, you can see, and we can now group those into a layer. So I'm gonna shift and click. So I'm gonna click on one layer, hold down shift, and then click on another layer so that I've got all those layers selected and you'll see them all blue when they're selected. Then I can come up to my layers panel here and I'm gonna create a new group from layers. So I'm gonna come up here to this option, new group from layers and we'll call this Stay Puff. So now I've created a manageable layer that I can use and reuse or duplicate. Now one thing to bear in mind as you're doing this is that you're creating a huge number of layers in Photoshop so your images can get big pretty quickly, okay? So let's create a brand new layer here and we're gonna look at a different way that we can duplicate something, okay? So I'm gonna grab the brush tool, okay? And I'm gonna grab a nice small brush and then I'm gonna increase my opacity to 80% and then I'm just gonna draw a nice little swell, okay? So once I have my swell here, I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna this time make a selection Okay, so when I created my Stay Puff duplication, it made many, many layers, okay? With this option, I wanna just create all those duplications in one layer. So I've got a selection here. I'm gonna to go to Edit, Transform, and this time I'll use Rotate. Drag my center point to here, okay? And then I'm gonna just rotate this by around five degrees. Okay, and then hit enter to apply that transformation. Now I still have my selection here, and that's the key here to making this transformation on one layer. So if I, hold down shift, command and tap T now, you can see that all my transformations are dropping into that same layer. So I can click quickly until I come all the way around. And as you come to the end, just make sure you don't start doubling up over the layers there. So I'm gonna hold down Alt, Command and Z just to take a few steps back. So I can see a little bit of doubling up in my layers where the line was too dark. So I'm gonna click Command D to deselect, and you can see now we've got a nice pattern layer created from a quick line we created in Photoshop. So we've got these two options for duplicating, one which creates many layers, and one which creates your pattern on a single layer, okay? We can also duplicate with scale as well. So for instance, if we create a new layer here, and I'll do the same thing with the paintbrush, I'm gonna grab the paintbrush, and I'll just draw a quick cube here, okay? And then if I select that, Command and T to transform, and then I'm gonna move my marker down to this corner. And I'm just gonna transform this guy, okay? And then if I do Shift, Alt, Command, and T, I'm gonna keep transforming my cube until there's nowhere left to go, okay? So that's the transformation, and of course, we can do transformation with rotation as well. So if we grab our brush tool again, okay, transform, put my pointer here and do a tiny rotation and a tiny transformation. Okay, hit enter and then shift, alt, command and T and we're gonna get a rotation as well as that tapering off of the size. Okay, so that's a quick overview of how to do some different transformations. I hope you found that useful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial.